During the entirety of the time I interacted with dark occultists, they referred to the police and military only according to these two terms. They called them our dogs and our pets. Nothing else, no other term was ever used. I never heard them say the word police, ever. Ever. They called them our dogs. And for a long time, I had no idea what the hell they were talking about. It was like, I'm, I'm like, what are these people talking about, our dogs? What dogs? <laughs> and then I finally made the connection. Whoa, they're talking about the police. They call the police their dogs. And it's not like, yo, dog, you know, you, you're, you're my boy. It's not, it's not street lingo. They're calling them animals that are easily made into obeying their commands because they break their will. And they symbolize this by giving them dog tags in the military. This is, this is a perfect representation of how dark occultists see the police. I, I, I could, if I drew that, it could not have been any more perfectly represented. I don't know who did it, but whoever drew that knows exactly how dark occultists think about cops. Exactly. Okay? Because they are the puppet masters and these people are their puppets. The military and the police are in this position. And their ego is so strong and their free will is so destroyed that they look at it as a badge of honor to be in this position. As a badge of honor. Now, when you're doing something like that in dark occultism, you know you really have something strong going. Okay? Not only that, the people who these people who the po police attack dogs and military attack dogs are oppressing, look at that position as being some kind of a badge of honor and think it's honorable and virtuous. You're members of a cult. Police and military and those who are supporting them, you are cult members. It doesn't matter whether you don't believe it. It doesn't matter whether you don't think it's true. It doesn't matter whether you can't accept that because your ego is in the way. These are the people who own you. And they think they're legitimate in that ownership. I attended a ritual on Valpurgisnacht in 1997 in Whitehall, Maryland, just south of the Pennsylvania border. And it was in what you might call a mansion or a McMansion, you know, not a high-end mansion, but, you know, very, very rich neighborhood, let's put it that way. And after the ritual, there was a gathering in one of the rooms near the front of the house, and there was some refreshments served. And I was talking to a gentleman who looked something like this guy here. And this isn't an exact accurate rendition. A listener to my uh, radio show and podcast drew this for me from a description I made. Uh, technically, this person was outside. So if you look at that as a door there and he was on the other side of the door, it would have been much more accurate. He was guarding the ritual house, a member of the police. And again, Jay told you stories about the police operating in art and basically being aware of murders that were being done in their district and basically saying, you know, better luck in the next life, kid. We know who's running this place. They're our, they're our bosses. They sign our paychecks. So you're, you're shit out of luck. You know, um, they got a police officer to actually guard the ritual house on this high holiday of the satanic year. Technically, he would have been on the other side of a closed door here, uh, but it was a glass door. So you could, well, it wasn't a glass door. There was a, a big window there, and the door was closed and locked. And he was on the outside of it on, on like a patio. But you could see him through the door. And while I might have been standing like, you know, over here in front of this guy, um, he's absolutely laughing about how these people who we consider lower than trash are guarding us in our homes while we perform the rituals that we perform. And here's what his laugh sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
almost identical. The, 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 the choking or gagging aspect was even more like heightened because he was like eating while he was laughing. He was eating and drinking while he was laughing, like food, food in his mouth, okay? Like a gluttonous slob. And I'm telling you, you know that, that cackle or that force, like you can't even draw, you're laughing so hard you can barely draw another breath in. That's what it sounded like, okay? This is what these people think of the police. And you know what? Can't say I blame them. I think about them the same way. They're that big of a joke. You would enslave your own kind. What bigger kind of a joke is there? What kind of lower form of life is there than that? You deserve to be laughed at like that.